Austrian Chancellor Karl Nehammer is the first Western leader to visit Vladimir Putin since the Russian president launched the invasion of Ukraine in February. He said the talks in Moscow were very direct, open and tough. I generally have no optimistic impression that I can report to you from this conversation with President Putin. The offensive is evidently being prepared on a massive scale. Austria is not a member of NATO, but it has imposed wide-ranging sanctions on Russia alongside other European Union member states. EU foreign ministers met in Luxembourg Monday to discuss further support for Ukraine. The bloc's foreign policy chief said Russia's invasion was causing food shortages. Is the Russian military was causing food scarcity. And Africa is especially a source of major concern because they are particularly exposed to the upcoming food crisis. EU officials also held talks with Karim Khan, prosecutor of the International Criminal Court. The EU and the ICC have sent investigators to Ukraine to gather evidence. Ukraine says Russia has committed 2,000 war crimes on its territory, including civilian massacres in Bucha and other towns previously occupied by the Kremlin's forces, as well as mass rapes and torture. Moscow denies the accusations despite the mounting evidence, including mass graves. Russia is not a signatory to the ICC and it will be difficult to prosecute individual war crimes on the battlefield, says international law expert Luis Viveros. There's a lot of evidence on this and that might happen, but we would have to see uh, the ICC Office of the Prosecutor acting in a way that hasn't done in the past. Vladimir Putin should face international justice, Viveros says. I think that the way to get to him would be the creation of a special tribunal to prosecute the crime of aggression. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky spoke to South Korean lawmakers Monday, warning that Russia is preparing a new offensive in the east. The occupiers concentrated tens of thousands of soldiers and a huge amount of equipment to try and strike again. Meanwhile, Russia Monday warned Sweden and Finland against joining NATO. Both countries have held discussions about joining the alliance following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Washington said their applications for membership could be submitted as 